today's videos, we're gonna talk about a true NAS storage. So it's one of the open source software that you can um, download from. So just search on Google true NAS download and click on the long link up there. So click on get through NAS. The top one we going to download is through NAS core. Now you need to sign in or register if you haven't already. So I'm just gonna log in with Google account. So you can use Facebook or or register from this website. So enter your email address if you haven't Oops. sign in with my uh, Gmail account. Um, so it's got into the website where you can download them. I would recommend to download the stable stable version. Um, just in this case, I'm going to choose NAS, True NAS Core 13 U2. So click on the download stable. You can use legacy is up to you, but yeah, I would go for that stable one for that time being for this video. So it's about 990, it's about one gig. And of course you can use some other program to uh, convert the ISO image. I like um, to use Rufus. So simply just download Rufus website and um, open the program and insert your USB drive that you want to. I'm just gonna drag and drop. So it's getting warning. So just ignore that and hit OK. It'll be fine. And um, ideally you want to format the drive first, but um, I think it's already formatted. So I'm just going to go ahead and click start. All the data will be deleted. Click OK. So one, one gig shouldn't take too long. So it's just going to um, copy all the data across. You should be able to boot up it. And um, yeah, I can't wait to see. I was I was gonna show you the server that I set it up. So stay tuned. So I've got a um, five drives SSD drive on my server, and um, so the all can be configured as RAID configuration um, but I'm just gonna set it to non-RAID configuration because of through NAS has the option that I can uh, using that software to configure it to RAID um, so let's try that options um, instead of combine them all in one and the worst part of using um, this server, if you were configured all drive to RAID, you won't be able to install the um, through NAS into a single drive. So rather than doing that, we're just gonna individually um, configure it as non-RAID. And that one of the drive, this this would be the blue one here, is gonna be my. Uh, operating system which is I'm gonna put through NAS on that drive and um, let's see how it goes okay so depend on your computer um, so I've got four five drives in there I'm gonna install on uh, this zero which is the first one um, so I 
Chris F9. My one is the HP server, so just gonna select the USB drive. And then just be ready to hit enter. Number one to choose the NAS installation. So it's gonna go through those. It is pretty straightforward. So for NAS 13 that I'm installing now, and then select number one, enter. Now, there are five drive here. I'm gonna keep um, this one, two, three for red configuration. I'm gonna keep, I'm gonna install the net through NAS on this, this zero. And hit spacebar on your keyboard and hit enter. I'll go to OK. Now it's warning all your data on the disk zero will be deleted. Um, so just press yes to continue. Now it's the password that you need to um, enter and make sure re you do remember. Otherwise, if you don't remember, you have to start this process again. So I'm just going to put password now. Um, through nets give you a, an option to boot UUFI or in my case I'm gonna choose boot via BIOS so. yes of course create a swap boot devices cool. so that might take some time could takes about a couple minutes depends on your um, system So just now it's giving you a percentage how far it's up to so it should go up to 100% in about less than a minute So far so good, it's just co copying all the files over. Okay, so that next what Net, through NAS has been successfully installed on this zero. Press any key to reboot. Just make sure you remove the drive first and press any key or hit OK and then remove it. Um, restart your system rebooting. So just restart it now. So right now the IP address is showing on your screen. In my case is 10.0.14.103. So use that on your browser. Right. So we got in here now. This is the home page dashboard. First of all, we go to storage, create a pool, and then add the pool. Now so you can create a pool leave it default click create pool you can so click on the suggest layout so it just pop it will populate the recommendation or in this case everyone every hard drive that is available 
we, we can select one by one or select all and then bring them across I'm just gonna leave as red Z2 you can select the other drive in this video which is gonna leave it as it is for the time being then name the drive name your pool drive I'm gonna give it name as SSD TrueNAS just keep it simple and click create and then hit confirm create pool then hit and then click on create pool so just all your data will be deleted so just be aware now we have a pool 3d so just go over the setting here and then add data sheet Now we have to name the data sheet. It can be different, so I'm just gonna put NAS storage and then go down to submit. Everything you can leave it as default. Cool, now we have a pool created. Head to account. Click on account. And then go to user. Um, remember we have built-in user which is which is root root account. So we want to add a new account here. So click add. and you can name whatever you you want to in this i'll just name it as admin and of course password that you um, can remember you can create it again if you forgot your password by delete this account and then recreate a new one uh, everything leave as default except for select windows accounts so so you can access through your computers and hit submit or click submit right we got an additional account as admin account now so heading to storage pool we're gonna create a, add another add data here so we can click on add data so ideally we won't name them different so I just go net storage data or sub data whatever so I just put data just remember that name so you're gonna use it to create the map drive click submit right we have another sheet here we want to give a permissions and go to edit permissions now so NAS storage data is what we're gonna use when we create the we when, when we map the drive. Go to user and click the admin account that we just created. And same thing with this, same thing with group, click admin. Just make sure you click apply user and apply group group. Leave everything else default. Click save. Now you have just giving a permission. So one last thing we got to do. Now click add and select the uh, chair path. Select the, the NAS storage data. Leave everything else default. Submit. So and enable the services. and close that configure the ACL that would allow you to access to it
to its J drive click and select ACL and this win we just click restricted click continue and everything else we have allow owner and group click save now you have shared your um, nest true nest over the network you should be able to access to the now um, hop over my computer click on my click on computer map network drive map the network drive again and then backslash slash backslash backslash 10.0.14.103 backslash your your map drive letters is called in this, in my case it's NAS storage data and then make sure you con select the connect using different credentials click OK enter the user account and the password that you entered it also remember my credential click OK now you automatically connect it to the J drive of the of the true NAS you should be able to copy that across um, so I'm just gonna copy 30 gigs of data across to the um, network I only have about 100 megabit per second link so on one of my switch so that's a maximum of the data transfer So not too bad compared to um, it took about a couple minutes to copy the data so whole 20 or 30 gigs over the networks which is pretty awesome so you can also manipulate this share drive to whatever you need it thank you for watching my video hope you enjoy and learn new things from this video see you next time